Raquel Agers runs the nonprofit Secure the Student. They've been busy these past few weeks. We have been purchasing groceries and delivering those groceries to college students in need. Ager says she hopes the community will donate at securethestudent.org to help them assist more students. Uh, for example, we had one student who shared before we delivered groceries to her, um, she was only eating bread. Holland Chiropractic is organizing a drive through food collection in their Patterson Avenue parking lot on April 1st. They need your help collecting canned goods to donate to local food pantries, all while keeping everyone safe. And we will have a drive-up set up so that there will be tables dividing each person that's helping. So everyone will be six feet or more apart. Caritas is accepting financial donations on its website to assist frontline workers pulling long hours in shelters. Items they can use include masks, thermometers, and grocery store gift cards. For the greater community, organizers say people can monitor Caritas' website for more information on donating meals in the coming days and sharing this crisis hotline for those facing homelessness. Bill Hargis says his music tree is offering free online music classes for parents looking to keep their toddlers busy. Each Wednesday at 10 a.m., toddler moms can join musictree.com and sign up. We thought about what can we do to provide for the community, and we wouldn't be in business if it was not for this community. And the least we can do is give back to them. Hargis says the music tree has lost some business due to COVID-19, so they are also taking donations for their instructors who continue to conduct those online music courses. Local churches are also looking for help. One in particular, St. Paul's Baptist Church. They will be coordinating a diaper collection drive in the coming days that you can help with. Also, the COVID assist text line, they're looking for volunteers to run errands for senior citizens and those at high risk. We will put all of this information on our website at WTVR.com.